Good evening. This is Karen Dobda, Quaker Valley's Director of Innovation and Strategic Initiatives. Tonight, I will be sharing with you our comprehensive plan update for the 2023-2024 school year. In the Commonwealth of Pennsylvania, comprehensive planning is required by all school districts. This is a strategic planning process developed by the Pennsylvania Department of Education. This process brings stakeholders together for a common purpose of focusing on students. The foundation for our strategic plan is our mission statement. This mission statement is our unwavering focus for the work in our district. It's the heart of the organization as it focuses everyone on our purpose and what we need to do to meet the needs of our students. Our vision statement is what Quaker Valley aspires to be at our very, very best. It is our vision that focuses us on the future and inspires us to be who we are every day. But it is our shared values that demonstrate who we are as a school district. We put students first, always first. We invest in our youth. We value all differences and we embrace the talents of our young people. And together, we do great work. These are the statements that are vitally important to us and inspire our work. As our plan comes to life, we set goals and clear areas of focus for us to identify and prioritize strategic opportunities for improvement as a district. These goals provide the structure and contents for yearly action plans and work that will focus us on students first and allow us to respond to challenges and changes in proactive ways. When building a comprehensive plan, the work must answer this question. What must occur so that we achieve our mission and vision? As we answer this question, we bring together numerous stakeholders in the community. Our last comprehensive planning meeting was held in June of 2022. From this meeting, our administrative team gathered feedback which outlined our work for the future. Now I will be sharing with you our Blueprint QV or our work plan for the 2023-2024 school year. Our first goal focuses on curriculum instruction and achievement. It's in these areas that we will continue to review student data to inform our instructional practices. Professional development will once again play a key role as we apply research-based instructional practices to help us meet the unique needs of each learner in our classrooms. Our curriculum review process will continue as we work with English language arts, grades six to 12, mathematics, grades K to eight, social studies, K to five, and health and physical education from K to 12. We will continue work on our program review of English as a second language. We will also review and revise report cards for the primary grades, kindergarten through second grade, and work with our instructional and technology coaches to ensure that they have the knowledge and skills to work effectively with our teachers. Our second goal focuses on safe and student-centered supports. It's in these areas where we will develop programs and activities that build teacher to student and student to student relationships in our schools. These relationships are vital for the success of all students. We will also continue our work to support students' physical, mental, and social emotional wellness at all levels. Reviewing and revising our school safety plans continue to keep everyone in the school community safe. And we will develop and deliver a curriculum that focuses on student safety which will be taught by our very own QV Police Department. Goal number three focuses on innovation. We will look to professional organizations to build relationships and explore new resources that will bring innovative learning opportunities to our students. We will assess our current use of online resources and look for ways to increase efficiency. We will apply for grants for innovative instructional practices in our school, and we will focus efforts on cybersecurity training to keep our systems and our data safe. Goal number four will focus on our relationship with the community. In the Quaker Valley community, we have a wealth of resources and we will look to enhance current communication methods to efficiently deliver information to our parents, our business owners, and other stakeholders in the community. As progress continues on the design of Quaker Valley's new high school, we will hold community events and share the progress and exciting news of the construction process. This year, we will host a wellness fair for staff and look for new ways to invite families to volunteer and share in their child's school experience. Our fifth goal focuses on district resources. While the construction plans for our new high school will be a major focus, 
We will also endeavor in many other areas. We will continue working with Summit Strategies and other foundations to fund and offset costs for numerous projects in the district. Human resources will be a vital effort as we enhance our recruiting measures to attract and retain candidates for hard to fill positions. We will complete contract negotiations with Unit 2 and come to a new agreement with Act 93. With the support of PSBA, we will once again continue our work with a revision of school board policies and develop related administrative procedures to keep current with changes in legislation and school code. While I have outlined our work plan for the year, keep in mind that comprehensive planning is a continuous process. We set the direction as we assess our needs of the district. We then create a plan, implement that plan, monitor the plan, and then adjust the course at the close of that school year to determine the work that needs to happen in the previous year. All of this work focuses us on our mission of educating and empowering all learners to design their best future. I thank you for the opportunity to provide this update tonight. Have a great evening.